hello guys welcome back to this channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to get this done in cap cut yes how to get blue scribble effect in cap cut on one click yes what do i mean on one click you're going to get this done it's not hard it's very simple as simple as abcd so it's very simple and very easy to use all right let's get started okay before we get started kindly click the subscribe button click the like button and leave a comment tell me how you feel about this video all right so before we may before we get to the main section which is the scribble effect i want to show you how to blow background in CapCut. yes i want to show you how to blow background in CapCut. so let's do it so what we're going to do now is that we're going to import our footage so let's bring our footage so what i'm going to do now is that i will click on new project so when you click on new project you are going to get the footage from here this is the footage that i want to use yes this is the footage that we are going to make use of so when you get it you click on add all right now this is the workspace of CapCut. so this is your timeline yes if you have not watched the introduction of CapCut, i want you guys to watch it all right so what we are going to do now is that we're going to add effect over here that is going to blur this background so in order to add effect move over here to effect click on effect 2 which is this one effects so when you click on effect click on video effects All right, so what we're going to make use of, we're going to make use of Halo Blur. This is Halo Blur, so you click it. So when you are done, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click on Play. All right, so this is it. So the timeline, on this timeline now, I'm going to extend it. Yes, I think yeah, it has reached to the end of the main footage timeline. So what we are going to do now is that with this, let's delete this. We delete it. All right. So this is it. So did you see it? So what we are going to do now is that we're going to add an overlay. We're going to add another. Uh, we're going to add a footage as an overlay to it. So in order to do that, you click on overlay. So this is overlay over here. Click on add overlay. So from here, I'm going to select the image, the footage, which is this one. So the same footage, you click on add. So this is it. So what are we going to do now? What we're going to do now is that we're going to uh, uh, increase it so that it's going to reach to the maximum ends. Make sure that they are all on the same line. Make sure that they align. Make sure that it's aligned properly with the main footage. So once it's aligned properly with the main uh, footage, you let go. Yes, I think I think this is okay. I think it's okay like this. It has it aligned properly with the main footage. So the next thing that we're going to do is that. The next thing that we're going to do over here is that we're going to move towards cut out. So when you select cut cut, you select remove background. So it's going to remove the background for you. Just exercise some patience in in less than 30 seconds, the background is going to be removed. So when it's done, you click on what you click on good. So did you see it? So this is what I'm talking about. How to blow video background in CapCut. All right, let's get to the main section. So to get to the main video now, so what we're going to do, we're going to create a new project. To create a new project, you click on add. So when you click on add, we're going to get our footage. So the footage that we are going to make use of is this one. Yes, this is the footage. We are going to make use of this footage. You click on add, you click on add again. So this is the footage that we're going to make use of here. So make sure that you do what you delete the ending. So when it, once you, delete, you have deleted the end, you move over to effect. So you move over to body effect. So you move to move to gluing line. So from here you are going to add the effect. Yes. So the first effect that I use is fissure glass. So this is fissure glass. So when you add it, it's going to add the glass to the footage, eye glass to the footage. So if you can also say change the color from here. 
when you click it uh, when you click it again you can change the color from here when you are done you collapse it all right so this is the first one so what we are going to do now is that to click on good all right click on good so let's extend it to the end of the footage all right so the next thing all right the next thing that we're going to do we're still going to add another another effect you click on body effect all right the next thing now that the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add geometric machinery so when you put in geometric machinery is the cripple effect that i'm talking about so when you add it you click on one you click on good so did you see it yes so what are we going to do now is that we're gonna copy it yes we're going to copy it you click on copy so when you copy it on the second one you click on replace effect so on replace effect you can now add your own effect which you want to be there what you want to be there all right so the if the next effect that we're going to make use of now is this yes enveloping lightning so this is the effect that we're going to make use of now this is the effect that we're going to you can adjust it you can increase the vertical you can increase the speed you can increase the size of it so did you see it so when you are done what you click on what on good so the next thing that i'm going to do we're going to copy it again yes so when we copy it you click on replace effect so this one is going to be geometric machinery all right you move over here the, ne the, the next one you, you copy it again so when you copy it to the last one you click on replace effect so when you click on replace effect let's find the effect here the last effect that i use right so we are going to make use of this one technology technology too so when you put it to what you click on good now let's watch and see how it looks you play it so did you see it this is how to add a blue wing scrabble effect in CapCut. all right so did you see how to add it in one go in a very easy way okay thank you guys for watching this video if you find it useful click the subscribe button click the like button and leave a comment tell me how you feel about the video all right thank you so much have a great day see you soon